Chapter 9, Port Angeles. Port Angeles. It's like uh, Los Angeles, but boats. It's, yeah, it's like Los Angeles, but wet. Yeah, it's like Los Angeles, but like where you put your USB. Yeah, it's like Los Angeles, but it's not. Yeah, it's like Los Angeles, but like a weird dessert wine. Yeah. Gross. Port Angeles, the Vegas of Washington State. <laughs> Edward can't drive to Port Angeles during the day because it's sunny and his sparkle. Oh no! So he's gotta wait hours, just waiting, waiting, waiting. He is um, parked in like a shady little parking lot and he's listening to Jessica's loud friggin' thoughts yeah. while she and Angela and Bella are trying on dresses for the dance that yeah. Bella's not even going to. Edward is not a peeping Tom. Not a peeping Tom. So what does he do? He, uh is reading Angela's thoughts and realizes she's in the dressing room and she's trying on a dress so he covers his physical eyes. Because <laughs> we know to turn off um, his mind reading, he just closes his eyes. He's just gone. Ah! <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Edward finds out they're going to eat at an Italian restaurant tonight. And so he's like, how can I also be at that restaurant and have it not be weird? I know, I'll invite Alice. And then he's like, mm. Not yet. I'll wait. He's like, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna if, wait. If there's a way I can not ask Alice to dinner, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> hold out for that. Edward like thought of asking her to dinner and Alice hopefully like <gasps> grabs her phone and then he changes his mind and she's like, it's not going to ring, is it? It's never going to ring. And Jasper's like, there they are. Here, little there, lady. <laughs> Let me mood you nice. Mm. <laughs> so while Edward's thinking about Italian dinner, um, he's distracted, but he tunes back in and realizes Bella's not there. Bella's Gone? <gasps> Where, Where did she Bella? go? Oh God! Oh, She's no. lost in the Vegas of Washington State, Port Angeles. It's 2005. We don't have Google or Apple Maps. She oh. probably didn't even print out MapQuest directions. She's never been to the city before, and she sat, decided to wander off on her own looking for a random bookstore that I don't even think Angela knew the name of. So Edward goes, err, err. Skr, skr. Err, err. Where's she at? Where's she? At? Hops out of the car. There's a scent. We smell her scent. It's dark enough now, so he gets out and he stays in the shadow and he's like slinking through the streets. He's smelling the air. He's trying <laughs> to find Bella. Bleh. I, I want to find Bella. <laughs> Where is my girlfriend? <laughs> she's not my girlfriend yet. I didn't, I didn't mean to call her that. And no, she, she's just a friend. And she shouldn't be my friend anyway because I'm a vampire. Bleh. <laughs> he catches a scent by the bookstore. Um, he walks into the bookstore, goes, <sighs> and walks out. <laughs> Meanwhile, the shopkeeper is like, oh, thank God, my first customer all day. <laughs> this is a small bookstore in a local town. We don't get that many customers. Edward walks in. She's like, oh, another Hello, possible customer. Would you like a... Okay. Oh. Yeah, so Edward just basically like, walk in, walk out. Walk in, walk out. <laughs> just me and my friend. So all of a sudden, he spots the rapist. Lanny. His name is Lanny. We learn this now. His name is Lanny. Short sure for Lancelot. <laughs> no. <laughs> He reads the mind of some nefarious gentlemen who are zeroing in on his beloved. <laughs> and he's like, fuck. No. Okay. No! I roared and a volley of snarls erupted from my throat. <laughs> we can't catch it. <laughs> Surf back. <laughs> he was a stranger to me and yet not totally unfamiliar. I had once hunted exactly such minds. Edward's thinking about his vigilante days where he's a old school film noir detective <laughs> sitting behind his desk. He's got a door with his name on it. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm looking, I'm looking for a fool named Shakey's. He's going down by the docks. <laughs> I'm talking a mile a minute. Uh, Mind reading abilities. Yeah, it really see? helps on the cases. Yeah, I'm see? always, I'm always scooping the local detectives. They get so mad. They're like, how does he do it? So he goes back through his film noir detective days when he remembers the days when he was drinking human blood bad, but he but only, only hunted murders. bad people. He's like, okay, Lanny, he's the worst. I never tortured my prey no matter how they had deserved it, but this man was different. He would suffer for this. He would writhe in agony. The others would merely die for their part, but this creature named Lanny would beg for death long before I would give him that gift. Kill me, Edward, kill me. Oh, please. Kill me, I just want to die. Me. I just want to die. This hurts so bad. So Edward uh, goes, skirt, and says, Get in. Pull up skirt, get in the right. And Bella's like, okay. <laughs> Bella gets in the car and he hears the thoughts of the would be rapists and murderers. And they're all like, oh no, I knew this was a bad idea. Like, she's not alone. Oh my God, I'm not gonna get away with it. Should I run? I think I'm gonna throw up. And I'm like, wow, sorry that uh, you're facing consequences for your actions. Um, yeah, you're you look not... so dumb right now. Yeah, you look so dumb. You look so dumb right now. They're not 
sorry because they were gonna do it anyway. Don't tell me you're sorry because you're, you're not. not. Baby, when I know you're only sorry, you got caught. I on quite a show, really had me going. Now it's time to go. go. Snap his neck. Curtains finally closing, but it's over now, Orlando. But it's over now. Go on and break your neck. So he wants to kill them real bad. And he's like, uh, I could tell her not to watch. Ha! What did she ever do what I asks? Meanwhile, he pulls up skirt. He's like, get in. She's, She's like, like, okay, sure. Immediately. <laughs> Put on your seatbelt, I ordered. Click immediately, <laughs> just click your ticket. My muscles were coiled with the urgency, the craving, the necessity of it. I had to kill him. I would peel him slowly apart, piece by piece, skin from muscle, muscle from bone. Except that the girl, the only girl in the world, was clinging to her seat with both hands. Want you to make me feel like I'm the only girl in the world. Yeah, Brianna's just really shining in this chapter. Um, come on, girl, give us another album, please. Oh. Maybe all her fear evaporated the minute that Edward pulled up. I'm like, she ain't scared. She's, she's like, scared. oh, he's my boyfriend's here. Oh, hi, babe. I, I knew this was the pickup spot that we agreed on. Yeah, he always saves me. A little late this time, <laughs> huh? babe. Uh. Edward's like, nah, I'm not gonna murder in front of her because I don't want her to see the monster that I am, because <laughs> then she'd never let me touch her again. Meanwhile, she's like, rip him to shreds and let me watch. I won't blink. Please, it'll it's be It's pronounced cool. foreplay, Edward. <laughs> she looks at him and he's like, never mind, won't murder. Bella's like, are you okay? She asked, her voice rough with stress and fear. Oh, my bad. Are you okay? She asked. <laughs> she wanted to know if I was okay? Was I okay? No! no. <laughs> I'm not oh, okay! No. He's trying to calm himself down, and he's like, what could get me to calm down? Hmm. High school petty trauma. Bella, <laughs> <laughs> I asked through my teeth. Yes, she responded huskily. Oh, yes. <coughs> yes? <laughs> he's like, distract me, please. And she's like, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, what? Prattle about something unimportant until I calm down. And then she's like, okay, um... I'm gonna run over Tylee Ty Ty from Avatar. I'm gonna run over Tyler Crowley tomorrow before school. And he's like, uh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> why? I barked out. Why? <laughs> why? 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 He's telling why. me. 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 He's like, okay, I'm taking you to dinner. She's like, okay, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> you will join me for dinner. I thought I told you to come down for dinner. And she's like, Okay. <laughs> She's like, I'm not being held here against my will. Let's just ha like go to dinner. And yeah. he's like, oh, okay, fine. <laughs> Sounds good. They show up at the restaurant. Bella sees Jessica, Angela, and she's like, Jess, Angela! And they're like, Bella! And then they're like, oh wait, holy shit, she's with Edward Panty Dropper Cullen? <laughs> oh my god. Mind blown, boy -oy -oy Um, Edward's like, do you mind if I drive Bella home tonight? And Jessica says, um, no problem, I guess. She probably wants him to herself. Who wouldn't? Just thought. <laughs> and then, at the same time, she watched Bella wink. Bella, Bella winked? winked? He's like, what, what could it mean? <laughs> what? How to decipher? And then Andrew says, okay. She said quickly and <sighs> ushered, ushered Jessica away. She's like, come on, come on, let's leave them alone. Oh, give them, them privacy. See you tomorrow, Bella. Edward's like, Edward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Star. I wanna thank you. Thank you for your sanctuary. Sanctuary for your sanctuary. I don't mind. Angela gives them some privacy, and Edward's like giving you a gift. Yeah, Edward's like, I will find a way to thank you for being so chill about this. Some toy or bobble. A toy or a bobble. A yo yo. A yo yo. Some makeup, marbles. makeup, the industry. <laughs> the, the industry. Won't someone think of the makeup industry? It's okay. their first unofficial date before their first official date in Seattle. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's an impromptu Italian dinner. They have a little sexy dinner. So basically at this restaurant, all the wait staff, um, it's their policy to hit on the guests and write their phone numbers and catch up. Because they walk in and literally the hostess is like, sees Edward and is like, oh my God, that is the hottest man I have 
ever seen. seen. Like, ever laid eyes on. I'm literally, like, sploosh right now. She thinks, like, okay, there's no way they're on a date. She must be his sister. <laughs> I'm just gonna take them to this table in the middle of the restaurant that's like not private at all. And Edward's like, no, 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 this won't do. Slips the waitress. Edward, Edward, Edward money bags Cullen. It's <laughs> like, here's $50 for a more private table. Like, oh my God, rich. <laughs> Edward Rockefeller Cullen. <laughs> Edward Bezos Cullen. <laughs> so she ushers them into the back of the restaurant where the mafia usually meets. Yeah. yeah. For their appointments. And then the server comes out um, and uh, Bella's like, um, I guess I'll have a Coke. And Edward's like, two, two Cokes. Cokes. Edward keeps waiting for Bella to go into shock over what happened. And Bella's like, oh no, this happens to me anytime I go out. He's like, she's like, yeah, Edward, I don't know if you're aware, but like women get harassed on the street daily in this country. Like it's a common occurrence. This is not, I mean, this is literally like far from the first time that I've been followed or called names or been in peril yeah. because I exist as a woman. Honestly, kind of my bad. I wandered off alone in an unfamiliar city. At twilight, <laughs> yeah. the sun is setting. I don't have MapQuest directions. No, well he was probably afraid that it was gonna be the same situation that happened with Rosalie. <gasps> yeah, which ended up oh, like, true. like literally killing her and making her become a vampire. Oh. So he's kind of triggered. Yeah, totally. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. The drinks come and Edward's like, drink. drink. Goes full dom. She's like, okay. <laughs> and she's like, I'm loving all these orders today. Mm. Get in, buckle your seatbelt, drink. <laughs> Prattle about something unimportant until I calm down. Done, done, and done. Um, she orders the mushroom ravioli. The and famous honestly, mushroom ravioli. Iconic. Mm. I want some of that. No, every, every time I, I read that she gets mushroom ravioli, I'm like, do I need that right now? Yeah, give me like a like a garlic butter and sage sauce. Yeah, yeah. Like, butter and sage. Mm, mm, mm. yeah. Edward demands her to drink. She drinks and shivers. And he's like, are you cold? And she's like, no, it's just the coke. <laughs> it's just the carbonation. <laughs> Woo! He is like, okay, she must be cold because she's literally shivering. So he takes off his jacket, this tan jacket, and gives it to her because she left her jacket in Jessica's car like Oops. an idiot. Oh, no. <laughs> she's like, oh, I totally didn't do that on purpose. Um, I wasn't like trying to get your jacket. Just, she's you know. just so forgetful. Oh, she's just so friggin' forgetful. Mm. Other than his tan jacket that he gives her, he's wearing a beige sweater and khakis. Um... So he's just monochrome mono tan. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, was your linen suit at the dry cleaners? <laughs> yeah. Is this, like, is this a gap ad for pastures? <laughs> it's a summer at the Cape. <laughs> Edward um, gives her a compliment, but he doesn't want to come on too strong. So he <laughs> says, that color blue looks lovely with your skin. I complimented her. Just being honest. Now it's question time. Um, Bella's like, why are you in Port Angeles? And he's like, Next! <laughs> Not answering that one. She's like, but that's the easiest one. He's like, next! Bella's like, you can read minds. And Edward's like, shit. <laughs> I guess she figured it out. Edward has a moment where he thinks he's literally Hades, which is super egotistical of him to think he's the <laughs> god of the underworld. Yeah. Like, you're just one of the many you're vampires just romping of, around. You're just okay? one of them, okay? Mm -hmm. Comparison, and this is where we get the book cover of Bella... Um, like every pomegranate seed is dooming her to the underworld and he is Hades and she's Persephone um, and she's just eating this pomegranate and every seed, every second they spend together is a step closer towards her death. Sorry that pomegranate seeds are super snackable. Like those yeah. are delicious. Yeah. I'm just like handful, handful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he basically admits to her that the first time they met, he wanted to murder her and eat her. He's like, your number was up the first day I met you. You remember? And she's like, yes. And he goes, and yet here you sit. And she's like, yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> she's like, yeah, but I'd rather be sitting on your face. <laughs> so he's like, I realized in that moment I wanted to answer her questions. Not because I owed it to her, not because I wanted her to trust me, because I wanted her to know me. Aww. I followed you to Port Angeles, I told her, the words spilling out too quickly for me to edit them. I've never tried to keep a specific person alive before and it's much more troublesome than I would have believed and that's probably just because it's you. Ordinary people don't seem to make it through the day without so many catastrophes. And he's like, I'm trying so hard to keep you alive and it's like really hard and like that was so scary back there with those guys. And like So he, he says out loud that he listens to people's minds. Not that she hasn't already called him out on it, but he says, he says out loud, usually I can find someone very easily once I've heard their mind. I watched your face carefully as I said this. Guessing right was one thing, having it confirmed was another. 
She was motionless, her eyes blank. <laughs> Gorgeous. I felt my teeth clench together as I waited for her panic. But she just blinked once, swallowed loudly, and then quickly scooped another bite into her mouth. <gasps> oh, Edward's like, all right, um, we'll get the check, please. And the waitress is like, okay, here's the check. And he's like, here's $300. <laughs> Keep the change. And the waitress is like, but I put my number on the receipt. And he's like, I know that because I read your mind. Please don't make me do this. He tipped $50 to get a new table. I'm sure he gave her like $300, hypothetically, for this bill, yeah. for two Cokes <laughs> and, and, and mushroom ravioli. One mushroom ravioli. Girl is pocketing like $200 on this. He just puts a fat stack on the table. He's like, boom, that's how much a human dinner costs. I don't know. So Edward's um, like, are you ready to go home? And Bella's like, well, I'm ready to leave, but um, we don't have to go home, but we can't stay here. <laughs> so let's just like hop in your car and have like a sexy little drive. And you into it? He's, and he's like, like, yes, fine. So they get in the car. So he's like, I can be in the car with her if the heat's going and her scent is swirling around everywhere, but I have to be really careful and it's going to hurt, but I think I can do it. And that's the end of their date in Port Angeles, and now it's time to go home. Yeah, Bella knows, Bella knows he reads minds. He didn't flirt with the waitress. Uh, what a good boyfriend. Th this day could not have gone better. The truth has not yet come out, but we are getting closer. We are just inching closer to the truth. So What's close. gonna happen on the car ride home? Let's find out. Let's click the next video and find out. You should click the next video and see if it comes out. What are you gonna do?